This is Dr. Mubeen Sayed with one more show, and I think you would love today's uh, discussion. So this is a reporting on a legal case. So remember the case about the ivermectin and the FDA's uh, posts about ivermectin, that you're not a horse, you're not a cow, stop it, you all. Um, so FDA was sued for that by Dr. Mary Talley Bowden, by Dr. Apter and Dr. Paul Merrick. So finally, they have settled and the FDA has agreed to remove those posts. So let's look at the reporting quickly. And of course, uh, I'm not a lawyer. So this is uh, not a legal advice. This is just a reporting to this case. So FDA to delete, you're not a horse post or posts. So remember this one, you're not a horse, you're not a cow, CSC, you all stop it. And then FDA had linked to this uh, uh, this page on their website that said why well, you should not use avamectin to treat or prevent COVID-19. This was that actual, um, you know, the, you look at the link down below, this was the web page on their site, which said why well, you should not use avamectin. So here is the reporting. According to the Bloomberg law, Texas doctors force FDA to remove COVID-19 posts in settlement, agency to delete social media posts, retire consumer updates, doctors agree to dismiss all claims in lawsuit against FDA. The FDA agreed to delete certain social media posts and web page updates that urged people to stop using ivermectin to treat or prevent COVID-19. The agency agreed to a settlement on Thursday with three Texas doctors who sued the FDA, alleging it provided unlawful medical advice about the off-label use of ivermectin to treat or prevent the disease. The US Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit in September 2023 ruled that FDA has identified no authority allowing, allowing it to recommend consumers stop taking medicine or to otherwise give medical advice in tweet sized doses. And I remember I had done this discussion in detail about when the law was progressing. Here is the Texan. And according to the Texan, the Houston doctor's lawsuit forces FDA to remove COVID-19 related ivermectin posts. So here they say, the Texan, the US Department of Health and Human Services and the Food and Drug Administration have agreed to remove social media posts, and an online article that warned against off-label use of ivermectin to treat COVID-19 according to the agreement. In the lawsuit, Borden's attorneys cited U.S. code stating that the FDA may not interfere with the authority of a healthcare provider. So this is important, may not interfere with the authority of a healthcare provider to prescribe or administer any legally marked device to a patient for any condition or disease within a legitimate healthcare practitioner patient relationship. Judge Jeffrey Brown for the US Southern District Court in Texas initially dismissed the case, ruling that the FDA had sovereign immunity, but his ruling was overturned by the Fifth Circuit last September and remanded back to the lower court. FDA is not a physician. It has authority to inform announce and appraise, but not to endorse, denounce, or advise, wrote Judge Don Willett, Willett of, for a panel of three Fifth Circuit judge, judges last year. The doctors have plausibly alleged that FDA's posts fell on the wrong side of the line between telling about and telling to. According to the agreement, the case has been dismissed with prejudice Within 21 days, the FDA must remove why you should not use ivermectin to treat or prevent COVID-19 and delete related posts on X, link, LinkedIn, and Facebook. So then here, and my apologies for this, uh, uh, this video and audio, I am traveling, so I do not have my technical, you know, my mics and cameras and lights with me. So that's just how it is. Um, I'll be back, by the way, next week. So we'll be back in the studio. Uh, Newsweek. FDA settles lawsuit over ivermectin social media posts. The appeals court also said that even 
tweet size doses of personalized medical advice are beyond the FDA's statutory authority. The FDA also will delete any not published, delete and not republish posts to Twitter, now X, LinkedIn, and Facebook that read, you're not a horse, you're not a cow, seriously, you'll stop it. Also, it will delete and not republish an Instagram post reading, you're not a horse, stop it with the abramectin. It's not authorized for treating COVID. As well as a Twitter post that reads, hold your horses, you all, abramectin may be trending, but it's, it isn't authorized or approved to treat COVID-19. The FDA has already retired a frequently asked question section that was at issue in the lawsuit the FDA said that all of the posts and other materials will be removed within 21 days, then archived as required by law. So now, how did FDA respond to this? The FDA told Newsweek that the agency has chosen to resolve the, this lawsuit rather than continuing to litigate over statements that are between two and nearly four years old. They, they, their message was given and now it is, it doesn't matter for them. It added that FDA has not admitted any violation of law or any wrongdoing, disagreed with the plaintiff's allegations that the agency exceeded its authority in issuing the statements challenged in the lawsuit and stand by the authority to communicate with the public regarding the products it regulates. So <clears throat> with this, thank you very much. I would just make one comment. Um, our own uh, Paul Burke, uh, who is a lawyer, I was discussing this with him over the text, and he said that all the legal aspects of this case have become successful, except the harm done. And also, it is interesting that the the Fifth Circuit judge found that only Mary, Dr. Mary Telly Borden had the good standing to proceed with the law with this case. And Dr. Apter and Dr. Marek did not. But before the exclusion of these doctors, the FDA went ahead and requested to settle. And that is where the outcome is. So with this, thank you very much. I'll be back soon. I think I'm going to do one more talk in this <laughs> way. And uh, please uh, forgive me for the bad lighting and camera and audio. I would do one more talk. And then next week, we'll go back to our regular routine. Thank you. And bye for now. And of course, like, subscribe and share.